Hi guys, Angie the Craft NATO here, and I am here with an unbagging. And as you can see, it is a hefty big bag. So, this is going to be another marathon unbagging. So get your snacks, get your drinks, get your whip, get everything you need, because we're going to be here for a hot minute. So today's order comes to us from um, the company FG Normal and I will link everything in the description. I'm just going to reach in and grab the first thing which is this box which appears to be a little bit crunched. So that's one of the dangers of shipping things in these mailers I guess especially if you're going around the world. Um, it has the potential to get smudged. So let's hope that what's in there was not damaged because it is something that could have the potential to break. It looks like they've got it packed pretty nicely in here. So we've got some foam and some um, bubble wrap. So hopefully it's not broken. So those are drills, we'll set those to the side. Everything's gonna come with a standard toolkit, so if you've never diamond painted before, anything you ever order is gonna come with a pen, a tray, and a square of wax at the minimum. So that comes just with a standard toolkit. And this is the first time I have ever ordered one of these sleeves. And I loved this one with the sunflowers and the bumblebee there, and I just really, really liked this one. So this is one that only gets drilled on one side. I know some of the sun catchers and stuff that are see-through, um, you drill both sides of them. This one is only drilled on one side, which is fine because you're, I mean, if you're putting it on a door, you're only going to see it from the one side. But I just really, really like this. I've been into bees lately. I don't know what my deal is. So um, it is a special drill. It's very sticky, so that's good. It is a special drill diamond painting, so let's look at what we've got. I anticipate that it's just going to be plain rhinestones, nothing, like no special shapes or anything, just because everything on there looks like, looks like circles. But we'll take a look at them nonetheless and see what we've got. We've got some orange crystals, yellow, two bags of yellow, some white iridescent these are just resin drills um, with a b coating so they're just irid white iridescent drills some green a couple bags no two different color green some like amber colored that's a really pretty color and some brown then we have some marquee shaped clear and some uh, teardrop mini sliver yellow so I was wrong, it does have some special shapes. So nice, that's gonna look really cute. I'm gonna, um, because this is the first time I've ever gotten anything like this, I think this is what I'll work on tonight because I really, really liked this one. So I'm just gonna pop the drills back in the bag and I'm glad to see that it wasn't damaged at all. It was nice that they had packaged it so sturdily inside the box like that with bubble wrap in the foam corners because I have a feeling that if they hadn't, the way that this bag was, it definitely would have gotten damaged. So, thank you for the good packaging. I appreciate that. And I'm just going to grab the other one because I did order two of the wreaths. And so let's see what this one is. Because I don't remember. I ordered this stuff. It didn't take all that long to get here, but I've ordered things since then. And I don't know which order is coming when or anything like that. So this is the second one. Oh yeah, this one's kind of like a fall one. So it's just um, fall leaves with a little squirrel. Isn't he cute with his little acorn? His ear is so cute, how it comes up like that. Now this one is also only diamond painted on the one side. The back is, is white, which is fine. But I thought he was really cute and I thought that this would be adorable for fall. This one, interestingly enough, is not rhinestones or special drills. This one, it looks like, is just plain resin drills. So that's interesting. Well, at least that's what I see for now. Let's get in here and see if there's anything different. So we've got, on the end here, 
Oh, it does have some special drills. So we have these larger red globes. Then we have burgundy, orange, green, brown, more orange, yellow, more brown, some lime green, some red, a couple more colors green, and then we have a couple special, uh, we have some red crystals, and or rhinestones, I should call them rhinestones, I think that's more accurate, and uh, goldish, goldish yellow rhinestones. So that's gonna be a mix of rhinestone and regular drill. And I think being that it's fall, a fall theme, I think that having regular drills on there is gonna look just fine and dandy. So I'm not I'm not upset about that at all, that it's that it's regular drills. I think that's gonna look just fine. So that's the other cute little wreath that I got. I'm just gonna pop it back in the bag or in the box was wrapped in this. I suppose I can do that later. I'll just set this out of the way and I can do that after the video. All right, on to the next thing. I'm just going to reach in and grab. I also got some keychains. I had never ordered keychains and I thought, why not give it a try? So I had ordered uh, keychains with me and my girls' initials. So this one is for my daughter, Emily. So it's an E. And now this is an example. This is, oh, it's cracked, you guys. <gasps> Bummer. It's cracked right in half right there. I'm going to have to contact them and let them know. I'm sure that they'll make it right. Um, this is actually the first diamond painting order that I've ever placed with FG Normal. I've gotten some paint by numbers from them, but... Um, yep, it's broken right in half. So, but this is an example of one that is drilled on both sides. So you're going to have, um, drills on that side and that side. And, um, that's what both means. Duh. So I'm <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> and it does have some special shapes on there. So we'll take a look at what we've got. We've got red and, or I'm sorry, gold and blue balls, big balls. And we've got our keychain little hanger that goes on it. I'm bummed that this was, that it was broken. And then we've got a little uh, clasp thing to attach it to the rest of your keys. And we've got, I love these. These are some of my favorite special drills. I don't even know how to describe them. So I'm just gonna show you. But those are so pretty. Those are some of my favorite special drills that come in kits. This toolkit does have some baggies in it. So if you're a baggie collector, you got some baggies. And ooh, look at this. I love these. These are those um, crystals that are, or rhinestones that are, um, they're gold, but they're like gold over top of clear. So I like those, those are really pretty. And then we've got some silver. And those are, they're not clear rhinestones or clear crystals, they're actually silver. So those are pretty. Then red, light blue, some darker globed green, some globed blue, some marquee iridescent orange, some marquee blue, and some gold balls. So I really like, that's a bummer that it's broken. I wonder, I hope that they'll, um, I hope that they'll replace it for me because that's unfortunate. And I hope that the other ones aren't broken because I got... Um, like I said, I got one for Emily, one for Madeline, and one for myself. And I thought that would be cute if we all had little matching keychains. You could put it on your luggage or on your keys. Now, I will seal. I'm going to set this off to the side so I don't forget to send an email. I will seal those because of being something that is going to be in use, you know, uh, quite, a, quite a bit in, in contact and clanking around. I will seal those just to make sure that the diamonds don't come off when I do them. And I think for those, I might use the Mod Podge. I know it does take away some of the shine and does, um, in the regular canvas, makes it a little bit more stiff. But I think it'll be fine for something like that. So let's get it into the first real diamond painting we've got and see what it is. 
and it looks like this is a round kit and it comes with two tool kits so maybe it's a bigger one and that's why it came with two let's roll it backwards this is poured glue so it's okay to roll it backwards you don't ever want to do that with double-sided though and this is you guys are gonna laugh because i have so many this is quite wow this is like a crazy amount of long what are the dimensions i don't think i realized that i ordered anything this big Woo! it's 30 by 100 you guys so yeah i did not obviously pay attention does anybody else do that you don't really pay attention to the size of things when you order them I definitely did not pay attention to the size of this when I ordered this because I don't know that I would have ordered a 30 by 100. It's just kind of a cumbersome size to try to do anything with. But it's one of my gnome men. Oh, and it's so cute. I love these gnomes. So cute. Isn't he adorable? And his hat is so long. I absolutely love him. I'm definitely gonna, gonna do this one. I mean, not that I don't intend to do all of them, but you know how it goes when you have a few in your stash. You, it, this one will be, I'll want to do this one right away. So it has 23 colors, and it, it's round, and it's not printed in the pixelated way, so it's printed in the new way of printing where the image is on the canvas and then the drill field is superimposed on top of that. So that gives our shapes a little bit better definition when you're dealing with rounded shapes, like the curve of his uh, of his hat there, and the waves of his mustache or his beard. It's not a mustache; it's a beard. Well, part of it might be a mustache. Yeah, I think this part's mustache, and then underneath is beard. Um, looks like there's quite a bit of confetti. This background is not one solid color; um, it's a mixture of colors, which gives a very nice uh, definition to your canvas when it's completed but it does mean you have a little bit of, um, of confetti to work with. But I think that it's so cute. I think this is gonna turn out really nice. I like it. Now this is one I'll definitely have to put under my son's bed to get the wrinkles out, but we've got time. We've got a lot of time before Christmas, so he's got plenty of time to, to iron out. Isn't he cute? He's so cute, I love him. All right, let's take a look at his drills. There's a big old pack of drills, obviously, because it's kind of big on the big side. I usually don't tend to order big canvases from uh, budget-friendly companies like this. I don't know why. I just tend to think of them as, as more uh, standard size, you know, 30 by 40, 45 by 40, 40 by 40 sizes like that. I don't know why. That's just me. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? So we're going to have a, mostly blues and reds. And we do have the DMC code on the top left and the bottom right. The key along with the DMC codes in both places. And all of our symbols are numbers and letters, which is my favorite way to have symbols. Uh, the drills, actually, the drill packages also have the DMC number on them, so that's nice. And these drills, these drills look really nice. I'm pretty happy with these drills. They're not dusty or anything inside, so I'm just going to fly them past you. We've got gray and mauve, more gray, kind of a purplish gray, some nice bright red, more gray, more red some teal, some magenta and bright pink, some more blues, three more colors of blue, some burgundy, some very light pale pink, another magenta, more gray, more blue, and a light sage type gray color. And then we've got another strip here with just a bunch more blue, blues, I think yeah, two bags of that color blue and then those other three color blues. So that is going to be really cute for the holidays. I'm really going to enjoy working on this one. I love my gnomes. I think they're so cute. It's funny because on a lot of sites, they call them goblins. And I think that's funny. I don't know why they call them goblins, but they do in their descriptions. I'm not sure how this one was listed. Now, the one thing to note is that there is writing down here on this little tag. 
that's attached to him, and I cannot read that writing um, to save my life. Let me see, can I read it in the camera? No. Peppermint tea. Yes, I can. It says peppermint tea. And then there's just a little holly berry and holly leaves on the bottom. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get funky and try to try to do something different with that. But being that it's around and you're gonna have little areas that show beneath the canvas, I might just leave it as it is and just deal with it. So I'm gonna roll this guy back up just because um, usually I put them right in my drawer where they can flatten. I put newest ones on the bottom, so then the ones that have been in there for a while, um, flatten them out. It's heavy enough, I've got enough in there that they'll flatten out, but being that he's a weird size, I'm just gonna put him back in the, back rolled up for now. All right, what do we got next? What's next, what's next? If I can get into it. Next we have a full drill, and I think it's gonna be a round. Yep, it's a round with a standard tool kit. And I'm gonna fold it backwards because it does have some creases, and this is quite a stiff canvas. Sorry, you guys, it's taking me a minute. I had a hard time getting a grip on it. with my skull theme that I've got going on recently. This is a 30 by 40 and it is a moon with a skull in it. And I thought this was kind of cool. And it's very, very, very much predominantly blue. So it looks like we've got blue and green and, and white and that's about it. But there are 24 colors in it. So we must have, you know, more than that. So 24 is a good, a good amount of colors for this size. The, um, DMC are listed on the canvas, and it looks like all of the symbols are in letters, so that's nice. And it is the type of printing, um, the newer type of printing, the non-pixelated type of printing. So let's take a look at these drills. The drills are gonna be pretty, uh, I do, I tend to do that, don't I? I get pictures that are not, that don't have a huge variance in color. So we've got just a ton of different blues. We've got this, this uh, mauve color that's gonna be his cheeks. And then we've just got a ton of different blues and blue-green combination. A Little bit of purple, some navy blue, some Kelly green, more green, some light lavender, some blue and some white. So that's a pretty, uh, we got a lot of blues, a lot of blues in that one. But I think that that's gonna turn out nice. I am pretty impressed actually with, for the size, I was a little bit worried about this one that it might be a little bit too much detail, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty nice now that I see it in person. So I'm happy with that purchase and these drills look pretty good. Um, let me take a closer look. There's no dust or anything in the drill bag, and that's the thing that annoys me more than anything. So the drills all look pretty pretty good quality drills. There's no dust in the bag, and I'm not seeing any concave, concave ones. So that's good to know. <clears throat> all right, this feels like a light one, so this might be a partial. I was corrected. Um, <laughs> we were talking at the retreat. I was talking to Mindy, and... I, she's right, I always call these partials, and technically they are partials, but they're special drill parcels, so partials. So I'm gonna try to make sure that I differentiate and say that something is a special drill rather than saying just saying it's a partial. This one's just a partial, <laughs> not a special drill at all. Oh, I am a liar. This is not a partial, it's just small. So this is a 30 by 30, and if you have watched any of my other videos, you might say, Angie, you just unboxed this last week. Yes, yes I did. So I already have this, I ordered it twice, um, but it's the Celtic Tree. It has 24 colors, and it has two keys. It's so small, I don't know why you would need two keys, but it does have two keys, 24 colors, letters and numbers for the um, symbols, 
standard toolkit, and the drills also have the DMC code on them. So this is identical to the one I unboxed last week. Anybody want a Celtic tree? Let me know in the comments. I'll send it out to you. Because I've got two now, and we only need one. So we've got purple, brown, black, dark, dark green, more browns and tans, green, burgundy, mustard, deep red, a redder red, deep, deep green, a couple more browns, a few more greens, and a dark gray. And here we've got some sage green and some brown and some tan. So just what you would expect to see um, in this diamond painting. And I think that for the size, I think that this is gonna turn out pretty good. I'm, um, I'm very optimistic about the way that this one is going to play out once it does get drilled. It does have, I like it because it has kind of like a border around it. Um, like this, uh, this is all A's around the border, A's and T's around the border, almost of almost the entire thing. I kind of like that. I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, somebody let me know if you want a Celtic tree. If you don't have, everybody should have one, right? Right. I'm not going to try to guess what this is because I was wrong last time. So we'll just open it up and see rather than try to guess. Because obviously my guessing skills aren't for crap today. And this is another duplicate. I have this one also. This one is a special drill partial. And it is this beautiful, actually, you know what? I don't think the one I have is not quite the same as this. Not quite the same. It's close, but not quite. You know why this looks so familiar to me is I actually cross-stitched this. So I've done this in this uh, pattern in, in cross-stitch. So it's just a beautiful summer tree. Um, it has 14 different types of drills. So that's a good, that's a good variety. Let's take a look at them. And it looks like the drills are pre-bagged, so that's nice. With partials, with full drill paintings, I don't really care so much about that because I, I don't prefer to work out of baggies. But with partials, I don't kit up, so it is nice to have them in baggies um, when I'm doing my partials. Ooh, so we've got these beautiful lavender iridescent marquee, some heart-shaped faceted pink, some regular rhinestone pink and another color pink. Then we've got some blue rhinestone, some lime green rhinestone or crystal. I don't know what I should call them, you guys. Does it, is it, tell me in the comments, is that, can I use those two words interchangeably, crystal and rhinestone? I don't wanna be saying the wrong thing yellow, some faceted round green, larger. Those are really pretty. They're like an emerald green. They're very pretty. Some iridescent coated, smooth topped orange teardrop. Some faceted iridescent coated pink teardrop. Some regular resin white AB coated, iridescent coated. Some slivery white, I'm sorry, slivery clear iridescent marquee. Red crystals. And then we've got these cool gold ones that are marquee. I like these. These are my one of my favorites. I love special drill canvases. They are one of my favorite things. I love, they're just... They seem so stress-free and you get that instant gratification because they don't take too long and you've got something beautiful and I love them. I love them, love them. So I haven't worked on one in a while. I should work on one just for, just for some relaxation. So that is uh, this tree. It's a 30 by 30. So it will fit in a scrapbook page if you want to them if you're looking for an idea to keep your um, 
special drills. Scrapbooks are a great way to do it. Uh, scrapbook pages are 12 inches by 12 inches standard. So you can put them on a background. Your 30 by 30s will fit on uh, like a, just a, I use a piece of, um, of scrapbook paper. Um, just find one that is kind of plain and kind of matches the image or complements the image. And that's what um, I mount them on that and then put them in the scrapbook. And it's a nice way to keep them because you run out of places to display everything. So it's nice. It's nice to have them. And then you can always expand, too. That's the beauty of a scrapbook as well, is you can always expand and add, uh, add pages to it if you run out. So this is the next one that I have. It's a full drill, 40 by 40, and it's just all these dragonflies. And I love this. I think this is so pretty. So it's dragonflies with like a with a flower in the middle. It looks looks kind of like a dahlia maybe. It's blue. I don't know what kind of flower that is. Somebody can tell me. I don't know. My thoughts are escaping me today. Um, but we do have two keys. We've got just letters for the symbols. We've got a key code on both sides, and it does have DMC numbers. And we also have DMC numbers on the drills. This is going to be so beautiful, you guys. I love the rainbow of colors. This is really a lot more beautiful in person than it was in the small picture on the site. I'm really happy with this one. I've been happy with all of them so far, I'm not going to lie. You know, you always are go with a little bit of trepidation when you're ordering from the more budget-friendly companies as to what you're going to get. And, you know, I have been skunked in the past and gotten some bad paintings, but I've also gotten some really nice ones, and I'm really happy with what I've gotten so far this order. So we've got some purple, a couple beautiful colors of purple, some grays, some mustard, blue, Lavender, green, very light gray, but it's probably 762. A couple of browns, a couple more blues, some burgundy, three big bags of black because you have to think all oh, that entire background is going to be all 310. And the, no, it's not either. That's not 310. What is that, you guys? It's 939. So it's actually navy blue. So, yeah, so your background is, is going to be navy blue, not black. Then we've got a uh, pink and a couple more purples there. We've got some mauve, some yellow, some nice bright purple, more yellow, more green, and more purple. So there's a lot of purple on this canvas for all you purple lovers out there. I know that there are a lot of you who just love purple canvases. So if you do, this might be one for you. It's very pretty. I like it. I do, I do. I'm very happy with this one. And I'm not sure if I said it's a 40 by 40 are the dimensions of this one. So still a nice size, not anything too overly cumbersome. And I'll just get the drills back in here and we will move on to the next. I usually don't do my recordings as late in the day as it is right now, because I like to do it before Jeff gets home from work. And we're kind of bordering on that right now. So if I get interrupted, it'll be him coming home from work. But you know how I am. I cannot wait to open things. So when the mail came a little bit later today, I just popped right in here with my camera and said, I am going to get this these opened and get this recorded because I can't wait for things. It's too much like Christmas or my birthday and I love it. So this next one is another full drill canvas. Now that last one I should note, that last one is also printed in the new way of printing. This one here is not, but it doesn't matter because this next one is a square drill. So this next one is just, you know what? I don't think I can show this. I just saw that and that is, I didn't, I don't, it's funny when I see it in person, it doesn't look like it at all. But when I saw it in the camera, it bonked me in the head. But that's a licensed image. 
I apologize for that. That is a um, image that's licensed by a diamond painting company that I recognize, and I didn't recognize it until I saw it in the camera viewfinder. It's weird when you look at things. Sometimes, um, sometimes you don't see it, and I definitely didn't see it when I ordered it because I would never order something that I know was a licensed uh, piece of art that is being sold illegally. So I apologize for that, um, but I can't show you that one. I don't want to get in trouble. This one I'm very excited about. This is a round diamond painting. That's unfortunate, too, because I was going to like that. Oh, well, you do what you can. You know, I think that as long as you make an effort and you're trying, um, you do what you can, and I didn't do it intentionally. Just know that. So this is another full drill, 30 by 30, and this is again printed in the new way of, um, it's not pixelated. You can see that the lines for his feathers and stuff are um, crossed over by the symbols. So when you finish drilling this, you're really going to get the effect of the directionality of the feathers. But it's this gorgeous American red, white, and blue rooster. And you know, I raise chickens and I love chickens. I'm the crazy chicken lady of my neighborhood. I don't have really a neighborhood, but of my area. Standard toolkit. I'm not even going to mention them unless it's something special. 23 colors in this little 30 by 30. And for being such a, uh, first of all, such a small diamond painting. And second of all, uh, um, being just red, white, and blue, 23 is a good amount of colors. So I'm happy with that. That'll also help this to really pop and look great. So we've got beige, white, and brown. Of course, we're going to have to have white. And then we've got red, mauve, gray, more red, lavender. I wonder where that goes. Gray. This is probably 3860 and 3861. We do have DMC codes on the canvas. No, it's not either. It's 7 and 8 are 451 and 452. But they're close to 3860 and 3861. Kind of those mauve colors. And the drills look pretty good. There's a little bit of dimpling on the back of some of these. But nothing that is, they're not concave. They're not going to pop off your canvas. So, and we'll check the sticky too. I should have been doing that all along. A couple colors blue, some burgundy, three more blues, a rust color, about three different kinds of rust colors, and another blue. So that's really going to lend itself to um, producing a good quality image. And I'm in the mood for a snap right now. I might just work this up and see if I can get it done in time for the holiday and um, pop this in a frame. Uh, the Dollar Tree does sell, if you're in the U.S., Dollar Tree sells a frame that roughly is 12 by 12. And they sell it as a, um, oh, what do I want to call it? A, what's, what, do they, what do you call, I'm sorry, my brain today, you guys. What do you call a frame that has multiple picture holes? You know what I mean. Anyway, they sell it as that, but it is a 12 by 12 and it fits these 30 by 30s just perfectly. They're hard to get a hold of though. They're really hard to, they, they sell out almost as soon as they restock them. But yeah, I'm gonna set this over there with my uh, wreath and I'm gonna work this up real quick for the rest of the week because I'm working on giant diamond paintings and sometimes you just want something small to work on, you know? So. The next thing that I have is not a diamond painting, but it is diamond It is diamond painted, but it's not a traditional diamond painting. I went ahead and finally got myself one of these awesome tote bags. Now, there are a couple of different kinds of tote bags that you can get. You can get the ones that are made of like a plasticky material, and that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was this kind that is made of a, oh, and it looks like, well, I'm gonna have to do something there. The plastic cover is crooked on here and a little bit of the drill area up here in the corner has been exposed and is less than sticky now. 
not a big deal. I've got glue I can use to place those drills. Um, I just use uh, regular crafting glue. I have in the past, you guys, I mean, don't take my word for it. I don't know if you're supposed to use that kind of glue, but I've used it in the past and it's worked just fine. I'll probably have to do that um, in that area, but that's okay. And then this is something that'll definitely need to get sealed, but I got this beautiful treat. And this is a, I interrupted myself, I'm sorry. This is a canvas bag. So there's nothing on the back, and there's, but this um, beautiful partial special drill image is diamond painted on the front. And oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this. Look at the little monkeys in the trees. Do you see them hiding in there? Look at those cute little monkeys. They're adorable. So cute, very, very cute. And inside the bag is where we're gonna find our drills and our toolkit. So we'll just get rid of that toolkit, throw it down there. And we've got a little walking legend here that tells us um, what drills we need. So we, it looks like we have 10 different drill sizes and types. And let's take a look at them. This is something that I'm going to want to seal as well when I'm finished with it. I have a purse, uh, a little purse that I was using as a pencil case, carrying case when I went to the retreat. And I hadn't sealed it. And just from, you know, the wear and tear of bumping around, I did lose a few drills off it. So if you're going to be diamond painting anything other than a diamond painting that's going in a frame, I would recommend sealing it uh, because I did lose some. These are beautiful looking crystals. These are really nice looking. So we've got red, green, blue, purple. That's a really nice color purple. Gold, brown, and then we've got a marquee clear. Then we've got a iridescent, blue iridescent marquee that are very beautiful as well. We've got some teardrop shaped red globe. Oh, and then we've even got some, st I've never had stars like this. These stars are uh, clear crystal. I like these stars, they're very cute. So yeah, so I got myself a bag. And I think it's going to be so cute. I can't wait to carry stuff around in my nice little diamond painted bag. Cute, cute, cute. And I, like I said, you can get the kind that are plasticky material type shopping bags, but I wanted this canvas type bag. I just think it's going to hold up better um, in the long run, and it seems seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy, and it's, it's a decent size. You could fit, I mean, definitely fit like textbooks in there. It's, um, it's not gusseted or anything, you know, for expansion, but it's a pretty decent size, so I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that one, indeed. So, look forward to working on that as well. I got all kinds of fun little projects to work on, don't I? I'm gonna put down that back down there with my fun little projects. Now, I also ordered another type of bag. I ordered this bag for my granddaughter, and I thought I had ordered two, so maybe there's another one still in the bag somewhere. But this is one of those cinched bags, you know, where the drawstring, where it closes like this and then it becomes a backpack. And I thought that this would be fun for them just if they're going to the zoo or um, going for a walk. My one granddaughter likes to collect pine cones when we go for a walk. So I thought that that would be fun for um, them to have a cute little diamond painted bag. And as you guys may or may not know, my one my oldest granddaughter does diamond paint with me, so I was going to let her choose which of the two bags she would prefer and let her help me diamond paint it. So let's take a look at what drills we have, and we don't have very m many, and it looks like we've got a mixture of special drills and regular. So we have some cute little pink hearts, some large faceted white resin drills, some medium-sized resin faceted drills, some pearl-coated round drills, so these don't have facets on them, some blue crystals, and then we've got some regular white resin drills, some pink crystals, and some black resin drills. So that is going to be just adorable. I think that they're going to love it. Cute little puppy dogs. 
And the bag seems to be pretty decent quality. It's, I mean, it's not heavy duty or anything, but it, um, it looks to be of average quality. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put the drills right in there so I don't lose them. And yeah, so super cute. It's perfect size for a little girl. I like it, I like it a lot. So we'll put that one down there because we'll hold off on completing that until she's over and then we'll work on that together. So moving right along, we go on to that. Whoa, whoa, I almost lost the whole bag and there's still a lot of stuff in this bag, you guys. There's still an awful lot of stuff in this bag. I didn't remember ordering this much stuff, but I must have. I sure must have. I did a thing. I know people get, a, not offended, but people don't like that saying, I did a thing. I love that saying, I did a thing. So I did a thing. Oh yeah. So I was super excited about this one. I'm just gonna roll this the other way to get a little bit of the wrinkles on out so it will lie flat. This is another special drill. See, Mindy, I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll remember how to say it right. Just give me time. Just give me time. Mindy does sometimes watch my videos. She'll comment sometimes. So if she watches, I want her to know that I'm at least making an effort to say it correctly, <laughs> even if I don't always remember. But isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love, love, love it. So it's dandelions, but then within the dandelion is kind of like a flower, flower shaped. So it was just a plain black background with a butterfly. I love this guy. Seven different drill types. Let's take a look at them. I love this guy. Very cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what we're going to have. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, I think that's going to do anything. Ooh, so lots of this bright yellow. These drills look really nice. You can see, look at the flashing on them is all there. There's nothing. I don't see any of them with the flashing that's partially gone. Some aqua. Clear. And look at this. Look at this whole big wampum bag of Marquee Cut Iridescent Clear Crystal. That is gonna be beautiful. We've got orange domed, are those faceted? No, those are faceted. Orange faceted uh, iridescent coated bowl, balls, some pearlized balls, and some gold balls. That's gonna be so pretty, you guys. I love it. I love, love, love it. So far, this order has been full of hits. I, don't, I think I had one miss where I ordered something that I shouldn't have. But so far, these are all hits, no misses. Good deal. We're on a roll. Let's keep going. All right. What have I got here? Did I order another journal? Apparently I did. Oh, I know why. I ordered this. Well, because it was a good price for one thing. It was a two-pack of journals. So I ordered this two pack of journals and the, this toolkit does come with tweezers since it's a special drill. Um, they are special drills. So this is not lined. This is just uh, plain paper, which I like. And it's just a standard binding. It's not spiral bound or anything, which is fine. And I was thinking that my mother-in-law might like one of these. She really enjoys doing the special drill paintings. And uh, I was thinking that she might enjoy doing a journal for herself. So we'll see what's in this first one. This looks like it's just very, uh, almost mandala-ish, but with, but floral in, floral in, um, in spirit. So we've got blue marquee large green marquee, gold marquee. We've got iridescent coated faceted teardrop pink. My favorite, oh, I've never had them in this color. She's not getting this one, I love this one. That's that really pretty, uh, but I've never had them in that color. I've only ever had them in white. 
They're very, very pretty. They're pearlized, they're round, but they've got like cuts cut out of them. They remind me of buttons somehow. Some gold globes, some yellow crystals, blue, aqua, and pink. I like this one. Let's see what kind of uh, drills we have in the next one. So mostly primary colors there, which is fine. Let's see what our drills are in this next one. And they even came in this very nice recent. <laughs> you guys, I'm always looking to recycle something. This very nice resealable plastic bag that you can use for something. Always looking to recycle something. This one comes in its own little bag, so let's figure out how to get into it. And we'll look at the pattern on this one. So that's the pattern, also floral little bit less um, it's not, and this is also blank pages I kind of prefer the blank page ones to the round to the lined ones just for taking jotting down notes I have a couple journals so I just add to the collection I do use them I actually a lined one I started with I started using it as my diamond painting journal and I was writing in all of the entry like the you know date purchase purchase from started completed and I wrote that down every page for I don't know how many pages it was nuts so we've got this is going to be mostly green themed as you can see so we've got just regular crystals we've got green brown lime green a larger Kelly green then we've got teardrop champagne colored faceted we've got iridescent coated white balls. We've got larger yellow crystals. We've got teardrop shaped iridescent clear crystals. And then teardrop, these are like teardrop sliver rounded topped green. So this is gonna be all gold and green. So if you're a fan of that color scheme, this might be the thing for you because it definitely has a green and gold theme. I liked it. I thought it was pretty. So that's that one. And I am going to, well, I don't think I have a danger of mixing the two up. So I'm just going to stick them both back in this bag and zip it up. All right. So I got that. So this is the um, opening of special things, apparently, because I got a lot more than just diamond paintings. I must have been in a mood to try different things because here's another different thing. And these I have never ordered before either. These are diamond painted. If I could find out how the heck to get into it. I'm just going to have to manhandle it. There we go. These are diamond painted bookmarks. And this toolkit comes with baggies. Both of these, this came in a pack of two. And they are similar but not the same. And they're on the thicker side. Um, once you get diamonds on them, that'll make them even thicker. I'm not sure about that. But they're a, little, they're a little bit thick. They're like leather. They feel like leather. I mean, they aren't leather. I understand that. You also get these beautiful tassels. Whoops. One on the floor. You also get these beautiful tassels to put on the end. So those are, that's pretty. And you're going to use the same drills for both of them, which will make it easy. And let's take a look at the colors that we have. So we've got pink pearl iridescent, we've got uh, light blue crystals, then we have dome-topped iridescent purple. Those are really pur pretty purple crystals teardrop shaped iridescent light baby blue and then a few of these large um, rhinestone iridescent clear and that is all that goes on that so it's a very the blue and purple are our only two colors really in that on those bookmarks and I liked them I thought the pattern was really pretty so yeah so that's what I got so we've got a couple of bookmarks. Give me just a second. 
I've got to take this extra second just to throw stuff back in the package. Otherwise, I would have such a mess on my hands. Um, by the time I got done, I wouldn't know which end was up. And I wouldn't know what went to where. So I appreciate your patience while I just throw everything back in the package. All right, moving right along. Back to diamond painting. Okay, this is a full drill. And it is round with a standard toolkit. And again, we're back to Angie and her, her monochromatic color tones or diamond paintings that are not very colorful or only feature one family of colors. I don't know why I do that, you guys. It's just, I guess, my taste or whatever. Everybody has different tastes, right? So, what do I got? I'm trying to roll this like the opposite, opposite way and it's not working out really well. But this is what I've got. I've got just these beautiful blue flowers with blue butterflies on a gray background. And I think that that is just so pretty. It's a 30 by 40. It has uh, all letters for symbols and it does have DMC codes on the canvas. And I think this is really, really pretty. These are just dandelion, like after the dandelion has, uh, it's dandelion fuzz is what it is. But aren't those just pretty? So I guess they're not flowers at all now that I look closely. The fuzzy dandelions. At least that's what I see. What do you guys see? I think sometimes I see things that other and other people see it differently. I'll put it a little bit closer. But I'm pretty sure that's what they are. In any event, they're pretty. So let's take a look at our drills. 21 colors. So we've got for black and white and blue diamond painting, we've got 21 colors to try to make up that image. So we've got, of course, a lot of gray, and then we have a dark teal. More gray, more teal. So 37, 56. These drills look really good. Yep, these drills look nice. More blue gray, a little bit of light sage green, some smoky blue, royal blue, 762 light gray, some more blue green, and one, two, three, four more colors, five more colors of gray, and then this color, I love this color, 169, that's a very, very pretty color, I like that a lot. So that is all that we have in that diamond painting. And I think it's so pretty. I think that that's gonna work up and look really nice. Again, thanks for your patience while I put this back together. Whew, it's getting warm in here. Working too hard. Set this one off to the side, and we'll move right along the next. Oh, looky there, I ordered another pack of bookmarks. Yes, I do read quite a bit. I don't know when I find time to read, but somehow I always find time for everything. I wish I had more time in a day. But my daughter Maddie also reads, and so does Emily when she can. She has got the two little girls, so she rarely has time for herself. But I really liked this one. I like this one a lot. It's a very pretty design on there. So let's take a look. And it does also come with the tassel. Ooh, look at that tassel. That's so pretty. It's like a three-dimensional flower that's made out of like a white resin. It looks almost like bone or like a... Uh, like, it's like, it looks like, like ivory or something. It's very pretty. Okay. Predominant colors in this are going to be gold and purple. So let's take a look at what we've got for special drills for this one. 
Ooh, I'm going to love this one. So we have gold teardrop. We have purple iridescent marquees. We have clear iridescent marquees. We have purple faceted iridescent round. We have purple teardrop iridescent globe top. We have gold marquees. Then we have gold, purple, and very light lavender regular crystals. Very pretty. That's gonna be really a pretty one. I like that. So that will look really nice. And then the tassel, the tassel, the fronds, I'm gonna call them, the strings on the tassel, are actually not black. They're actually like a deep, deep brown um, on the strings on the tassel. So I think that that'll look really nice with it. I'm gonna get rid of the toolkit out of there just because it's gonna take up extra room in my drawer and I don't have room for that. I'm stuffing everything in as it is. All right, moving along. See what else you got. You guys, we're at an hour. And I know you like the marathon unboxing, but I need a little bit of a break. So I'm going, and we've got a lot of stuff left. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. And I'm going to come back and know that we like to do the long unboxings, but I'm going to cut it off here. Take a little break. Go see what my husband wants for dinner. And then I will come back and record the rest. So come back tomorrow and see the rest of everything we've got we've still got a lot more stuff to go so thanks for tuning in if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section i will post a link to all the items that i unboxed and that way you can um, find them if you'd like uh, thanks for watching think about subscribing if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video thanks a lot talk to you later bye